Tom, and I have two very special guests with me today in the rock band studio. I have Mr. Jake Silverman and Mr. Van Hansis, who you may recognize from a little show called As the World Turns, where they play, uh, you know, one of the favorite, two of the favorite characters, one of the favorite couples that we cover here on the site. So, welcome, gentlemen. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for rocking out. Thank you. It was fun. Very, it was very nice. It was a lot of fun. We had a great what time. Was, what was your favorite part of it? Uh, Singing, playing guitar. Playing guitar, watching him him sing out. I mean, the singing is fun. The singing is mm -hmm. fun. And I when I when I when I was coming, I was like, I'm not gonna sing. It's like I'm not gonna embarrass myself like that. <laughs> and but then within a few minutes, you were right up there. Yeah, within a few on. minutes, it didn't. It just took me like getting like. 12% on the guitar to be like, maybe I should just try singing. Fans always thought he could sing better than Joan Jett anyway, so yeah, it yeah. worked out. Yeah, whenever I see Joan Jett at concerts, I'm like, bro, stuck out there. <laughs> it's mine! It's mine! My career you took! Yeah. So I kind of noticed that there was a little bit of a little bit of competition between the two of you. No. Uh, like, no, when you wanted to, you know, because your scores, you wanted to kind of, well, if you get an 87, I want to get an 88. No, no, no. no. I mean, if, it, you know, the only competition is, you know, really in Van's mind, because there's no competition. I said when there wasn't any competition. No. No. I'm, I'm basically playing that there is competition, <laughs> but that I won. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I won. 32 note streak. No, this is the 100. He got 291 notes, right? Really, yeah, yeah. Every 291 notes. Like, yeah, yeah, we're really great. We got seven notes. So the reason we're here playing rock band uh, and jamming out and doing full contact karaoke here is because uh, Van and Jake are going to be on the Rock the Soap cruise. I'm saying that right. Rock the Soap. Rock yep. the Soap. Yep. Rock the soap, which is uh, so so. It, it's a rocking kind of environment. There's apparently festivities and music involved, and karaoke and things mm. like that. Have you guys ever done this kind of thing before? Uh, no. I mean, no. we've done fan events. I've never been on a cruise. Before. I've never been on a cruise before either. Actually, yeah. really? No. no. So I'm really I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me wow. too. I have the materials, the the literature. Okay. Um, and it, they promise some kind of interesting things. Um, laid back interactions. We're yes. good at laid back. We can we check that Very out. Very good at laid back, laid back interactions. We can That's, do that. Yeah. I just had an exciting, an exciting musical moment with stars. So that we checked off. We just checked off. We write. Okay. That I'll have them take that off. The I, don't know, I don't know. Yeah. We're going to be upset, or I. You can do whatever you want, but I don't know. If well, I'm he said be. he wasn't going to play a rock band and no. sing either. Well, you said you weren't going to sing either. Mm, you got a point. The man has a so, point. So has as point. of now, we're not doing the musical stuff, but we'll. But who knows? Who knows? You know. What could happen? Who knows what could happen? If it's rock band, we'll do it. Yeah, we could rock band on the boat. I, yeah, yeah, I would do rock band on the boat. I just don't like karaoke. And, and it also says a chance to sing karaoke with your favorite soap stars. And special one-of-a-kind moments to be announced. Do you uh -huh. guys want to announce any one-of-a-kind moments mm. at this point? <laughs> Anything special? Special one-of-a-kind moments? Well, <laughs> um, maybe if I don't bring those tablets that keep you from getting seasick, I yeah. that, could be, that could be a real one-of-a-kind one of moment. Kind, yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. be you can be puking up with a puke on your lap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can have Jake Silverman's vomit all over your lap. There's a bunch. I mean, it's you guys in there like twenty other. There's people. a bunch. Like, there's yeah. A yeah. Bunch yeah. There's people. people I think shows. every show. I think every show. Not show though. Or almost every show. And one of the things it says you can do is you can do. Uh, it has like a interaction game where you can reenact. You can participate in scenes with your favorite star. No way, I didn't really no, no, know. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's, that's so that's serious. Cool. If someone that's does... See. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, which, 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 scene would you, which scene would you guys pick uh, for your favorite scene to reenact? Well, I mean, I don't think my favorite scene, scene is something that somebody would want to reenact. One of the favorite scenes, you know. They probably want to interact like nice scenes, not scenes where you're like screaming at each other. Yeah, those are usually... I mean, I like those scenes a lot, although... I mean, like... I, and then some of the scenes I really liked, I, I necessarily wouldn't want to go back and try and do them again. Yeah. You know, because they were like not nice to go through. Well, they were tough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you know, I, but I do like I I, I like that scene of us on the, on the rooftop. You know, oh, that was a nice scene. Yeah. That was a nice scene. Yeah. Um, but it'd be kind of weird doing with that with a like if I had to pick like all right, so you just kiss some older guy and now yeah. we're gonna have this scene about yeah like why you do that? that yeah. Well, you're not perfect either. Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> no, so I don't think fans will. I mean, that those. I don't are even know you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean, yeah, yeah. I really didn't mean. It. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if they, there's some. What about like the helping you to walk for the first time? Like, oh <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. When, yeah, we could do that. Or maybe just the sandwich talk scene. That would be a good would scene. Be kind of fun. That's a good That's scene. A good scene. So I understand that um, Eden Regal. Do you guys know Eden no. at all? Okay. I she, think we we met her once. I think. She is on All My Children, and she plays a lesbian character who Monday is getting married. So it's going to be the first gay wedding in the history of uh, daytime. Mm. 
Mm. We obviously were hoping that maybe you guys, your characters, would be the first. That'll be done too young, too young. young. No, no, no. Too no. young. I think eventually so marriage. Yeah, times, yeah, you know? yeah. Not marriage yet. I, I mean, I think that one of the you know, one of the things on that soaps can do is rush their characters into adulthood way too fast. Mm -hmm. So I would, I mean, you know, I would hope that Luke and Noah have a, more of a co courtship. Pardon me, before marriage. So she can she can have the marriage for now and the kids and stuff. She can have it. Yeah. So when you meet her on the boat, you're not going to be like. The way stealer. Lock this to the old <laughs> Hey, we wanted to get married. Gonna throw down. <laughs> Chuck her overboard. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Don't even joke. Well, if you get in a tussle with a shark, find Thorsten K. Because he can handle the nose. No, the gills. He can the gills. The nose. The nose. Or the gills. Or the gills. Tender. Yeah. Or, or the nose. Is very or the nose. Or, yeah. Because when dolphins attack I don't sharks, plan to be when dolphins attack thing. sharks, they go for the gills. Yeah. You're not going to be off the yeah. dolphin anymore. Yeah. No, no. But you hear these stories. Oh, I, I hate those stories. It's like the worst in the world. Yeah. Like, they're, yeah, too like, drunk. they're just some yeah. woman who like leaned but, over yeah, the side. And just oh. fell off. Yeah. Aren't you guys excited to come on the cruise? Yeah. In terms of the show and the characters, where you guys are at right now, um, obviously, you know, a major event in your relationship happened in January, which was great. Do you guys feel like... There's a major event. Ma we ate ice cream. You ate ice cream with his grandma. Yeah, just had the ice cream. Huge it was huge. It was the first yeah. time two men and their grandmother ate ice cream on daytime ever, and it was such an honor to be part of that scene. Uh, I feel just thinking about it. Just I think it was Rocky Road ice cream. Mm -hmm. It was. It was Rocky Road. I had never had it before. I had never had it before either. You had it? No, and it just meant People so much. People are always talking about Rocky Road. I know. It's I know. Good. It's it's such an issue it's these days. It's really good. Well, it was such a big, I mean, I understand you have a little lactose intolerance. I actually am lactose intolerant. He fought through that. He fought yeah, through it. I fought through it. To eat that, I was like, oh, that Rocky Road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we can only do a couple takes in that one. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Uh, no, but in, seri in seriousness, yeah. Uh, do you feel... Well, no, at the moment, when they're, they're, they're talking about... Oh, right. Bump, chicken, bump, bump. Yeah. 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 <laughs> before, right before the ice cream. And, and right, right after the ice cream. cream. And the day after the ice cream. It happened after the ice cream, too. Apparently. Well, like it's that. implied at this point. Yeah, implied. Right. that's yeah. implied. Do you feel, in terms of the characters, I mean, it's kind of like a plateau. It's a new plateau for the characters in terms of the relationship. Does it do the do the scenes feel any different in terms of how you, how you play them? Or well, I think I think one of the things that comes I think in a relationship in general, um, you know, friendship of any kind, you know, when you get to know somebody more, just as time goes by. No, 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 friendship. No, 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 no. no. I'm just saying, like, as I, I was going to use this, you know. Just as time goes by, people will get more and more comfortable with each other. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think that they have. <laughs> that could bring, you know, certain friendships together. No, right? certain friends do. Certain friends. Um, has it, it, but it hasn't made it any easier to do the scenes or, uh, or anything? Or does it feel any different in any way? Well, I mean, I think for the characters, you know, there's a maybe a deeper understanding. Because what happens, what the what's going to be airing right now is Luke and Noah, again, having differences. But instead of fighting about their differences, they're working with it, makeup and no. What's happening <laughs> after that? <laughs> uh, they they like they they ha they have more of an understanding of each other, maybe okay. you know, in in the fact that um, and like that might be due to their clo newfound closeness or not, but you know things can go wrong and they don't just scream at each other and break up. Yeah, right. You know, that's good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And, and right now you guys are kind of embroiled in the middle of a murder mystery. The just, mystery. Just started yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it seems like Luke, again, is kind of like hot on the trail. Yeah. And Noah's, again, kind of like a little more of a doubting Thomas, kind of holding back. Well, he doesn't really want, I think, I think he doesn't like, you know, Luke putting himself out there and he doesn't like the danger aspect that, you know, that's mm -hmm. he doesn't want to see him get hurt. But I love that the two of them are, you know, even though they've got very different temperaments and, and you know, thoughts about what uh, about what what's happened? They're both kind of going towards something, you know. Like, it's like it's a parallel mm -hmm. this time. Yeah, they're working, like they're working together. They're working together. They're totally working together. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they respect each other's. I mean, I think Luke. Oh well, and no, I think they both get very frustrated with each other, but they do respect each other, and uh, and they're working towards a common goal, which is I think very good for the characters. Mm -hmm. And that does seem like it's 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 moved on to another yeah, level from yeah. before, which is yeah. yeah. Luke seemed really upset about Reg's dying. Yeah. Is, is that indicative of something that we're going to find out? Or uh, no, I think Luke just really was good friends with Reg. He was just really good friends. Yeah. Okay. Um, and also, I think Luke. Also, 
swimming, that plays into it. Luke's not doing anything with his life right now. He's just kind of <laughs> like sitting around. And I think he's, you know, it's like when you don't have anything to do with your time, at least I just like, your mind just starts racing and you start, you know, you start, it's very easy for you to get off track. And I think Luke sort of, I mean, yeah, his, a good friend of his died. I always kind of thought of it too, it was like, is that Luke was battling addiction before himself. You know, it was different oh, yeah. from drugs, but that... Oh, yeah, there is that in there. That's true. There is that, yeah. And I think what they're starting to layer in is that um, Luke is a lot more like Damien than previously thought. And the fact that Damien is very... Um, when Damien wants something, he'll get it, and he'll go for it, and he doesn't really care who stands in his way. It's a very selfish drive. And I think Luke has part of that as well. Mm. Um, and I think you kind of see that through this storyline, that um, that he there he is a Grimaldi underneath it. Interesting. All. And is he okay with that? No. Yeah. No. I mean, I don't think he recognizes it in, it recognizes it in himself. But there are parallels between how Damien acts and how Luke acts. The only difference is, you know, lots of times Damien acts in a way that is not for the greater good, and Luke thinks what he's doing is for the greater good. And is Noah going to be pulled into? Meeting Damien and yes. being involved in that pretty mm -hmm. much too. Yeah, that's a story with uh, Lily and Holden and no one Luke and Damien. Yeah, and it's very interesting. And it's coming at the end. It's of It's coming March. at the end of March. We're taping it now. Uh, it's great to have Paolo back. Uh, yeah, I've met him. He's, he's fantastic. Yeah, I was going to say he's, he's a fantastic guy. Up, but he's a great yeah. guy. He's a really just one of the coolest guys to work with. So funny. Um, and I think I think it'll be a really good story. So Luke, Luke eventually goes back to work on his foundation, and that's what bringing, uh, brings Damien back to Elton. Okay, and then after, so you go right from a murder mystery kind of into Damien coming back, and then I understand you have something else coming up to, after that, so you're pretty Yeah, much the stuff that comes back, well, Damien is here for, uh, I think, a, a, a good chunk of time. So the stuff, so the, the Damien, I don't think is going to be just one story. I think the story will evolve into oh, okay. uh, incorporate other characters and yeah. certain different stuff. So we've got we've got some good stuff coming up. I yeah. think. I think a lot. Be, it seems yeah, like it seems like we have. Yeah, I mean we've been working. So we've been working. Yeah. So yeah, I think. So I think it'll be. You need this boat ride. This boat cruise. Yeah, we need the boat we cruise. We need to. We need to go out and sit on a boat and. <laughs> I can't. I really can't wait. It's gonna be. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank it was you. Awesome to have you, you and to uh, to play some music. Yeah, that was great. And. If, again, if you guys want to see more music, or more laid back, relaxing, yeah, I uh, think kind of like near music, then uh, the Rock the Soap cruise uh, is definitely something you guys should check out to hang out with them. And you can just go to rockthesoap.com and find out more. And of course, uh, you know, keep tuning in to As the World Turns and, and AfterAlbum.com for our coverage of As the World Turns. And I will see you guys again soon. I hope. Yes, Sounds great. thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Rock on, guys. Awesome! 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 I'm hope I can do this thing now. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Yeah, 90%, baby, I beat you. Sweet. I'm going to sing every time now. <laughs>